Well, it was down to the wire last night, but they did it. Congress coming together on the 11th hour for a deal last night to pass a short-term spending bill. The agreement avoids a shutdown for now, but could put Kevin McCarthy's House speakership in jeopardy. As Fox's Chad Pergram reports, the deal was quite the close call. A government shutdown averted. A coalition of Democrats and Republicans in both the House and Senate voting to avoid a shutdown. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy leaned on Democrats to get this done. I'm sure every bet you had was government was going to shut down. I don't know how many times you're going to count us out. But if there's one thing you should start understanding, not just that I'll never give up, but I'm a type of conservative that wants to get things done. After the House passed the bill, the pressure turned to the Senate. Democrats and Republicans have come to an agreement, and the government will remain open. Bipartisanship, which has been the trademark of the Senate, has prevailed, and the American people can breathe a sigh of relief. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy worked with Democrats. Uh, they worked with Democrats uh, to get this bill passed. People here who follow the Congress thought that that was always going to be the avenue that they were going to go along. Uh, Kevin McCarthy could never get uh, all Republicans to kind of caramelize around a GOP-only bill. And the route to funding the government, to preventing a shutdown, was working with Democrats. Well, Matt Gates, the Republican from Florida, has consistently said that he might drop this uh, sort of Damocles on the House Speaker uh, if he was to work with Democrats here. And he would call for a motion to vacate the chair. This would be to demand a new Speaker election in the middle of the Congress. We haven't had one of those since 1910. We are at this point because Kevin McCarthy made multiple contradictory promises about the budget top line to different groups of people. He made one promise to House conservatives in January to secure the position. He made another promise to President Biden. He made a third promise altogether to House appropriators. So it, Kevin's deal was if he made multiple contradictory promises and delayed as long as possible, he could push people up against shutdown politics in order to avoid the, the programmatic level review that House conservatives have called. For. It's unclear if Gates will attempt his gambit in the coming days, but no government shutdown at least for six weeks. On Capitol Hill, Chad Pergram, Fox News. All right, so this morning we want to give you a closer look at what was in and was not in uh, this legislation. Lawmakers did not include more financial help for Ukraine right now, but they did increase federal disaster assistance by $16 billion, as President Biden had requested. And this morning, President Biden is sharing his thoughts on the passage of the bipartisan bill. In a statement, he says in part, quote, the bill is good news for the American people. The president goes on to say, but I want to be clear, we should never have been in this position in the first place. Now, had Congress not acted by midnight, federal workers would have stopped getting paid. Air travel might have been delayed because of staffing shortages and food benefits would have paused for some of the country's most vulnerable families.